you! Welcome back to Mass Effect! Last time, Commander B.J. Shiplaskowix had a stroke and a fly through in front of his face and dreamed that he was killed by, by Geth. Other things happened, but that wasn't as important. This time, we get to see the galaxy map. All its glowy splendor. Okay, something to note. Take note of this one and this one. We will be going there in the fairly distant future because those are the DLCs. I think it's this one that is absolute garbage. Now, neither of them are good, but there's something to take note of. Now, we actually have things we could do, but I want to finish off the, uh, I, I want to get all of the, um, what do you call it, uh, squad mates, that's right. So, now let's see if I can remember which one it is. I think it's this one. In the future, I will be cutting these scenes out because they're rather lengthy. But you should see it at least once. Rail, rail gun transit. It's the only way to travel. There! Ha! <laughs> Got it in one. Quick thing about uh, Therum here. The, the planet that you rescued Liara on in like the beta in like the beta builds of the game, the early, the early development was actually supposed to go under a different name that I can't remember, and was going to be much bigger. In fact, it was going to be essentially like a mining hub city where you would go around and do various missions. Over time, it ended up being broken down until. The, the planet was renamed, and it's just this one mission. However, or I think it's the Bring Down the Sky DLC, the assets that were used in it were repurposed as background objects in that. So yeah, you just got to learn stuff. Did it hurt? I'm not sorry. Hmm. Let's go with Caden and Tali. Now let's see if I can remember how to drive this thing. Okay, yeah. Commander, I'm picking up some strange readings. Really strange, like off the damn charts. It looks like it's coming from an underground complex a few clicks away from the drop zone. Okay, so, the way the Mako works is that when using a controller, you steer with the left thumbstick. In fact, that's also how you accelerate. If you hold forward, the Mako will attempt to move in either forward or backward to go the direction that you are that you are aiming. In addition, it has a relatively effective like a, like a Gatling gun on the roof, and if you hit your power button, a cannon. The cannon has a short, like, recharge delay, but it doesn't add to your heat. It's very powerful. Uh, in addition, you'll notice the, the, like, wrench thing with a 47 under it, and a Y button. That's because the, um, the Mako can take damage. It has its own health bar, and you can repair it by using Omni Gel. Generally, you won't want to do this because one, it takes quite a bit, two, it locks you in place, and three, well, you want to keep as much of your Omni Gel as possible. Especially if you're like me and like seeing the number hit the cap. If I remember correctly, it's 999. A lot of people hate the Mako. Personally, I don't really understand why. You get... It's got powerful weapons. It doesn't really handle that badly. Plus, you can run stuff over and watch them ragdoll. What's not to love? Well, okay, I'll... 
I'll admit there is one thing that I don't love, and that's okay. I don't I don't mind how it drives, though. The handling is a little weird. Like you'll notice, we're rocking back and forth all over the place at the slightest bump. I don't think we can take that strong point head on. Don't be a pussy, Caden. Yeah, it, regardless of what your party says, you want to take it head on. Not because you can actually get through this way, you can't, but because of delicious XPs. As you can see, we get quite a bit. 59 per, 59 per turret. Might actually be able to get some more kills here. Uh, nope. Uh, yeah, no, no matter what party member you take, they'll, they'll say that you shouldn't try to take it head on. Uh, Rex uses, like, a metaphor. A Krogan metaphor. And yeah, the, uh, the Mako has a jump button. <laughs> Shepard himself does not. Yeah, C Commander Shiplastowicz, <laughs> Commander Shiplax, Shiplastowicz, can't jump on his own, but the car can. As you can see, we can pretty much just tank through anything the standard Geth have to throw at us. And even... And even turn their cover into slag. Whoops. Now that's something that we do need to keep, to keep in mind, though. The canisters do a lot of damage. I, 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 I think I can get him. I can't. Well, I tried. Before we continue, level up! Oh, we only got two points this time. Well, might as well cap off shotguns. Let's see, what does Spectre Training do? Ah, yeah, Spectre Training does a lot of things. And, uh, yeah, it, it says regenerate accuracy. That's talking about how your accuracy, like, resets at, uh, over time. It's not super useful. As you can see, it's only an extra 2% at max. Uh, Unity is actually quite good, though. Though it does cost Metagel, one per downed, per downed ally. All targets down. Something to keep in mind. All targets are not down. There's a targets in here. The radar said so. The radar lied to me. Never felt so betrayed. Okay, yeah. Over here is where we need to get. I think there's a geth in either in there. Or just on the or just on the other side. I know they're on the other side, but I think there's one right over here. Yep, there. I know. Take out those hostiles. Uh, yeah. Before you do that, could you open this for me? And yeah, this is the main purpose of Meta Gel: opening shit without needing to do the mini game. As you can see, it's pretty expensive though. There's a couple things that it is better to use Metagel on. Uh, there's actually one main quest thing where I think you need like a hundred. So we're going to be saving up. <laughs> and Tali can't figure out how to use a ramp. I parked a little too far away, but yeah, whatever. love this river of lava here. I think it's because it reminds me of Morrowind. Whoops. Uh, something to note. Well, a couple things to note. Number one, you've probably noticed that despite my reticle being right on it, I missed two shots in a row. That's because your, your aim is actually leveled with the car. So if, you're, if the car is pointed up, it'll throw your aim off. And the second thing, 
We actually have additional levels of zoom. Doesn't get a lot of use, but it can help at times. I've managed to, to bypass whole encounters that would kill me, and I know because it was my second attempt at them, just by sniping them with the, with the turret. Yeah, the armatures hit fairly hard, but not really hard enough to be concerned about. As you can see, we got hit by at least one of those, and it didn't even take us past the first shield bar. Uh, something to take note about the Mako, though. The shields regenerate slowly. And I mean real slowly. If you get this thing all the way down, it takes like 15 minutes to come back up. Luckily, it's actually kind of difficult to get it that low. And this is our first instance of a instance of a Geth Colossus. It's huge and durable. Luckily, it ragdolls just as easily as anything else. Okay, I, th I think this is the tunnel. Yes. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. There's, there's a tunnel at one point where there's, like, enemy rocketeers at, at the very end of it, and it's almost a straight tunnel. And you can actually pick them off before they see you, like, mid-motion with the turret, and it's the coolest thing ever. Also, don't try to go in the lava. You may remember back on Eden Prime, I found that upgrade kit in some fire, and I hurt myself getting it. The lava is a one-hit kill. So, like, don't even try. Okay, I think it's this tunnel. Either that or it's on the ice planet. Yeah, there's an ice planet. Why wouldn't there be? Yeah, th this, this is basically free money and XP. I got nothing to complain about. Actually, I do have one thing to complain about, that Full Auto only had two games. I miss, ve I miss vehicular combat games. Okay. Obviously, there are enemies up there. We just got jammed. Here's the thing. The Mako can't get through this tight little corner. Or can it? It's difficult, but it is actually possible to get the Mako through there. Obviously, I will not be doing that this time. And yeah, you can actually blow yourself up. But maybe I will. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna take a few minutes to try this. I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah, I, I couldn't get it through. I know you can. It's, it's not easy. You gotta get, like, wedged in here sideways and use the jump thing to sort of push yourself through. There's invisible walls all over the sides, and, yeah, if you fall in that lava, it'll kill you. But, uh, it, it is possible. And it's very useful for this fight coming up. It is galling that Mass Effect 1, with its, like, let's be frank, pretty terrible combat system, has more realistic shotguns than most first-person shooters. I've lost shields. Ow! I thought if I stayed behind cover, it wouldn't hurt. It made it hurt worse. Ow. Shields. That went exactly as planned. You can't prove otherwise. The 
there's a rocketeer up there. I can smell them. Holly, good job being less of a pussy than Caden. That's not much of an accomplishment, but good job anyway. Man, those guys are fragile. All targets down. Aiden, stop being dead and get over here. Now, uh, something to make note of. Make sure that, especially if you're playing on higher difficulties, to make manual saves while on Theron. Because I think there's only one auto save, and we have not hit it yet. It's about time, Caden. We're gonna need that, trust me. Is that fight I was talking about? It is right up here. I don't know why it swapped into the assault rifle. I'll just all do it. Weird, that's the only time in the entire series that it does that. This is the only one I can remember. Yeah, you'll notice my weapon isn't, uh... There we go. Jesus Christ, Caden! Yep, I was afraid of that. And that's what Carnage does. Well, that and it's also a serial killer. And my whole team's dead. At least Tolly held out. I couldn't get back behind cover. I I, I got stuck on the corner. Hostile spotted. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Let's try this again, shall we? You know, I should have come back in about 10 seconds later. When, when we inevitably die again, I will. And uh, no, I, I, I can't skip this. I just noticed they're really frog-like. I hate it. What's weird about all this, though? is it sets all of this up as, like, the introduction for these types of enemies. But you you can actually encounter all of them fairly long time beforehand. Ow! I've lost shields! Oh, this is bad. Okay. Assess our options here. Okay, I already know that I can't take even a single hit from that. But I can tank through that. For some reason, Carnage gets me kind of locked outside of cover. Like, all power usage seems to do that. I've lost shields! I think 
it's working. There we go. Got some meta gel out of it. And a whole bunch of crap. I'll get to that in a bit. Send me back in, Commander. <laughs> Caden's still poisoned. It's actually possible that he could just drop dead. Again. And then get right back up. I think I remember that happening a lot in KOTOR, too. 